Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So as you've probably gathered from the title of this video, I'm actually going to be sharing with you all um, my, uh, my astrology book collection. I would just like to quickly highlight here that this is not a sponsored video, okay? All I'm doing is showing you the books I have and if you want to look them up yourself and get them because you might benefit then uh, you could go right ahead and do so. This idea just really came into my mind because of the astrology reading cards video that I just did. I thought it'd be perfect, it'd be so perfect to introduce to you all some of the best books, the best, the best books that I have. What I will do first of all is I will show you a sort of overview of all the books I have, okay, because there's quite a few, and then I'm actually going to tell you guys about the, the story as to how all of these books came into my possession. So this is the overview. Also, they're all sprawled out on my bed, as you can see. Okay. Overview. Now, I just want to say that this little pile right here, um, they will be for another video. Probably for like spirituality books. Um, not so much astrology related, but still pretty awesome books. This guy, Alan Watts, Brilliant, brilliant philosopher. I strongly recommend you guys look him up on YouTube. He has some of the most insightful lectures you will ever hear. As you can see, there were quite a few books there, okay? But this is the story as to how I got all of them. So basically, I used to work at my local hospital, okay? I worked there, hmm, well, I finished working there around my birthday. Actually, it was like two days before my birthday that I stopped working there. I actually worked within the radiology department, okay? But I worked more, you know, in the offices and things, okay? But there was a radiographer there and this guy, very spiritual guy. But we got introduced and of course, astrology came up on my, my behalf because I tend to ask people their star signs quite a lot, even though I've only just met them. Basically, he knew that I was very passionate about astrology. So one day he came over to me and I was sitting, you know, on the computer and he told me about a friend of his, okay, um, a friend of a friend basically, right, they passed away. So she basically had this library, okay, and within this library obviously a lot of books and some of these books are astrology books. And so the guy from the hospital just said to me, Hannah, you know, they're going to be giving all these books away, so why don't I give you this girl's number, okay, his friend's number, and it means that you could potentially go and um, pick up some books if you want. So of course I was just like, what? I was completely overwhelmed by it because it was just so nice, like he, he didn't have to say a word to me about this, nothing but yet he did and I just I was just so taken aback and really grateful to him I still am so grateful to him because these books have just provided me with so much knowledge um, and I haven't even read half of them my friend actually he um, offered to take me I was gonna go over on the bus with my big backpack I just fill up my backpack see I don't drive or anything like that but he offered and uh, yeah, he took me over there and of course my friend is a Taurus, so there you go. Taurians, helpful people, that's that's my perception on them anyway. <laughs> and that's it. I went over and I picked up a lot of books. There were actually so many more, but I was like, I'm just taking the piss. I, I cannot keep doing that. I, I had to stop somewhere. But anyway guys, I am going to show you some of my favourite books. So this is the first book guys, okay, so the first one that I read from all the books that I got and it's Astrology for Lovers and it's by Liz Green. And what's great about this book, okay, is that not only does it tell you about each sign, you know, give you a sort of um, description, for example, right, here we have Taurus here and then also it tells you about the myth of Taurus, so kind of, you know, the mythology behind, behind the sign and then it divides it even into the man and to the woman. Like this book helped me a lot actually with my maturity levels, the Zodiac Sign series, really helped me with that. Um, yep, Taurus man, 
and then Taurus woman describes also and then it even tells you about the shadow side um, of the sign and also as a lover so it's perfect it doesn't just tell you about the sign in general but it divides it into these different categories to give you different um, insights you know and how does a Torian woman act or a Torian man act and yeah I really I strongly strongly recommend this book the next book I like to point out this one okay so so good because it provides I'll, you'll see what I mean so here we go choice center astrology the basics okay by Gail Fairfield honestly guys this book is kind of like my go-to book because it just covers everything. It basically tells you about qualities, elements, the signs themselves, okay? Obviously, it tells you about the planets as well, of course, okay? It's a mood introduction. And then it also shows you the planets within the signs and the houses. So for example, I mean, we have Mars and then a brief overview, um, Mars within each house here. And then also Mars within each sign here. So as I say, it says the basics for a reason, okay? It just gives you a basic overview of everything. But having said that though, even the planet um, explanations and the sign explanations, very in-depth. It also talks about the aspects, of course, as well, the different nodes. It just honestly, guys, this this book will just give you everything that you possibly need to know about astrology simplified okay and then you can work from there if you know what i mean the third book that i use greatly okay would be the 12 houses okay this <gasps> is amazing it is an amazing book and it just describes every house and it describes every planet within every house it is by howard sasportas okay foreplay Again, there's Liz Green coming up. I strongly, strongly recommend this book because it, it does give you a whole other perspective when it comes to the houses. Let's then look at aspects, okay? So I haven't really spoken about aspects on my channel, but aspects are very important. Now, this one, how to be a great astrologer, okay? It says the planetary aspects explains and it's by James Braha. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not. But yeah, so it just tells you all the aspects. So I mean, we've got Moon conjunct Mercury, Moon conjunct Jupiter, Venus square Jupiter, Mars trine Saturn, Mars opposite Saturn, just in, all the aspects are in here and it's perfect. What's also pretty amazing about this book as well is that it tells you a brief review sort of how astrology works, okay? But then it talks about the nodes, okay? So for example, north node in aries or the first house with the south node in libra or the seventh house and then it just goes from there so that's at the very beginning of the book so it tells you about the nodes and then it goes into the aspects this book is also similar okay aspects and your personality i think this book is so pretty and you know the author's name karen let us i just let you read that okay take it in take it in you want to get this book then read read the author's name What's actually really great about this book is that not only does it tell you about the aspects, but it tells you about the sort of the psychological influence of the aspects as well. And then it also gives its own description on each planet. So yeah, if you want to know about aspects, these are the books to go to. Also, we've got the 12th house. Now, I, for those of you who may be new to astrology, okay, the 12th house is a very difficult house to explain or to grasp the concept of. I think it's beautiful, really pretty. It's the same author um, as this one. Can't, you can kind of tell actually. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, same author. So if you want to know more about the 12th house, this is your guy. I haven't even read all of these books. I didn't even get them that long ago. So for me, I was just really presenting the ones that I use at the moment yeah guys this is definitely the best way to learn just to get so much material okay not even just from books but even online like look up so many websites different forums different articles 
go on to YouTube even and watch loads of videos by different astrologers. Just get as much knowledge and material as possible. More material, the better. What I actually would like you guys to do is to tell me about any books that you maybe possess or that you're reading to do with astrology. I would like to know more as well. I mean, I could do with more reading material. I think we all could. So let us know in the comments the different, um, not even just books, but what sites do you visit? Who do you watch on YouTube? Just where do you get your information from? Thank you kindly though to my current subscribers and also for watching this video today. And if you would like to see more material from myself, then please be sure to click that subscribe button guys. And I will be back with another video very, very soon. Bye.